All our students that our PSAT results are in and your guidance counselors will be getting with you very soon about the results and how you can use those results. I'm going to hear Hillcrest won the state championship in the Big 16 this past weekend. Uh, yeah, you know, it's tough to hear, but um, good news is we had uh, a couple of our region players on our team. Well, I shouldn't say a couple because we had a good bit of all region players on our team. Um, Elite, Blasting Game, Lummy Young. Tim Merriweather, Caleb Moss, and Daquan Kelly. Congrats, guys. Really like to send congratulations to our all region players and Coach Early for the fine job they did this year. Also, we want all the Ram fans to know that we were the only team in South Carolina or any part of America to be here, Chris, this year. Guys, we think that's a great accomplishment, but we see how close we were to being state champions this year. I hope you're working hard in the weight room and doing everything you need to do academically to help Westside stay on the map. I want to wish a special congratulations this week to uh, my Ram Proud winners. This week's winners are Lamonte Rouse, Aaliyah Hudgens, Javon Long, Lee Yang, and Casey Tomlinson. Congrats, Clyde. Right. In the wrestling room with Coach Holland and some of our great wrestlers. Coach Holland, what we got going on here? Well, Mr. Roberts, this is uh, one of the important parts of the wrestling team is, uh, unlike a lot of other sports, our guys actually have to weigh in before every match, every, before every competition, and they have to actually be at or underneath their weight class before every match. Okay, so did you make your weight? Yes, sir. Let's see. All right, this is Marcus Fowler. Uh, been wrestling with us. This is his second year. His weight class is actually 145, and even with all of his clothes on, he's pretty much on weight here. All right, we also have Brady Vickery, who was actually one of our placers this past weekend. Uh, his weight class is 160. As he weighs in, and even with all his clothes on, he's actually on weight. And then we have one of our seniors, Todd Hollenbeck. His weight class is 132. And good for these guys. These guys are actually all on weight so far. What, um, talk to us a little bit about the tournament we just had this past weekend. and I know we finished fifth overall, and I think we had some individual guys that did a great job. Yes, we actually, we actually were missing three starters for various reasons, but with the, the, the ten guys that we had wrestling, we actually had four out of those ten placed top three. Uh, what no weight class are you in? Uh, I don't do weight classes anymore. I need to be back there with those guys trying to make weight. One. So, Coach, tell us a little bit about the uh, tournament we had last weekend. Well, we had a really good showing at the Woodmont Wildcat Invitational. We placed fifth overall out of 14 teams. And we actually had four guys placed in the top three. We had Chris Laney take third, Daniel Howard and Brady Vickery both took second, and Dalton Walls actually won his weight class and was also voted tournament MVP for the whole competition. Yes, sir. Well, that, that's good to hear, Coach. Um, I, I guess he burned enough fat back here running. So, uh, Westside, you heard it here. Come out and support your wrestling team. They're doing great this season. Go Rams. We're here with three members of our all-county band, Scott Edwards, Emerson Burrs, and Peyton Kiker. Guys, talk to us a little bit about what it, what it means to be on the all-county band. All-county band, it's members of the 
people that tried out for the band out of all the out of all the high schools in Anderson County. And there's another piece of the band called Range of Band, all state band, and all county bands just like just a smaller version of it. Okay. Um, I know you're a senior, and, and next year you're going to Newberry. Uh, what are you doing something with the music? I plan on majoring in music education, and then probably going to somewhere to get my four-year degree. All right. West Side, you heard it here. We have Mr. Burrs, Mr. Edwards, Mr. Kiker. Congratulations on being selected to the All County Band. Go Rams. Yesterday morning, we practiced our lip dub. KG, what are some of the things that students can wear um, for the lip dub? Uh, well, they can, first off, start by wearing their West Side colors. Show that uh, West Side pride. But um, even if they don't wear West Side colors, wear Christmas uh, spirit colors. Uh, wear your Christmas sweaters. Ugly. Grandma's Christmas sweaters. Anybody's Christmas sweaters. Now, I also saw some of the kids with posters and... and Things like that. Should we have posters? Or? Uh, posters are encouraged because uh, we just want to have a little excitement in the in the whole lip dub. So that'd be great. I think we had a good show. I know we take the last part of it from our Christmas assembly, and want to take just a second to thank the National Honor Society, Miss Blowdown, Miss Foster for a wonderful uh, program last week. Really enjoyed that. Got a lot of compliments on it, and I was very excited when we had the last part at the end. When it says West Side turn up for the turn down, turn turn down. down. okay. <laughs> turn down. <laughs> well, maybe I can say that turn down. up, okay, and then you say no, <laughs> turn, turn down. down. Okay, so we'll be back to staff. Be on the lookout for emails from Miss Worse, and we'll make some announcements about the lip dub. This will be an exciting day next week for West Side students. Come out, represent, wear your colors, um, show some school pride, and make some posters. Go West Side. Oh, well, side, we're on location with our boys basketball coach, Coach Agnello. Coach, I told you in the last segment, this is one of my favorite times of year. We got to an exciting start last week. We had three home games. Talk to us a little bit about um, your first games at West High High School. Um, well, like you said, they're, they're very exciting games. Um, our first game versus Seneca, uh, they're ranked number nine in, in the state of South Carolina, um, came down to the buzzer, and uh, Silas Chrysler got a steal and made a shot at the buzzer to win the game. Um, our second game versus Daniel got off to a big lead, kind of squandered that a little bit, but then made some plays in the last minute to win the game by two, and then this past Friday we beat BHP by, I believe it was the final score of nine or so. Okay. So we had a very, very good first week of the season. Talk to you. Also, talk to us about the student section and, and their importance at the game. Being a six man, getting our crowd involved. How did you feel about that? I was very pleasantly surprised um, with our student section. Um, Monday we had a pretty good crowd for number nine Seneca. Um, and after Silas hit that buzzer beating shot, they stormed the court, which was great to see. Um, we had a pretty decent crowd uh, Thursday. Um, against Daniel, and then Friday was unbelievable with our student section against BHP. Um, starting the Just Like Football chants when we had the game in the bag and chanting 3-0. Those are good things to hear from your student section. Um, and we're looking to, to improve upon that every game. So when we get into region play, teams are scared to come in here and play us. Now, I know we, uh, before the break we had two region games and y'all are going to Kentucky for a tournament. Can you talk to us about the tournament in Kentucky? Yes. Uh, like you said, we got two big region games right before we leave, both on the road. Um, and then we're traveling to Kentucky. Uh, we're leaving right after Christmas on the 27th. Uh, we'll be down there for four days, four nights. And uh, we're playing three games against, for our first game is against a team from Tennessee who's undefeated right now as well. Um, and it'll be very it'll be very tough. There's, I think, two or three teams from Kentucky, a team from Florida, Georgia, and Tennessee. We're the, we're the only team actually from South Carolina in the tournament, so it should be a lot of fun. Okay. See, see where we stack up. All right, you heard it here, Westside. Come out and support your Rams as they look to bring home a region title and also to have a good showing up in Kentucky during the Christmas tournament. Hey, Westside, we're on location with uh, Mr. Tobin. So, um, Mr. Tobin, have you heard any good jokes lately? 
Yes, tis the season to be jolly. Let's start with one. Why is Frosty the Snowman everybody's best friend? I have no idea. Because he's so cool. <laughs> I got, you got another one? Yeah, I got another one. Uh, why do elves... What do elves study in school? I don't know. what. The alphabet. <laughs> well, what's up? You heard it here for our joke of the day. Thanks for tuning in. Voice won't soothe the rest of the right. Reform that I am holding. Copy written lyrics on the